What is up, my friend? This is Ethan Hill, and you're on the free Wake the Fuck Up tutorial, a unique practice that is going to help you get jump-started for the day, center your mind, get excited, all within a short, condensed time span and without any sort of alarm clocks, stimulants, or other harmful stressors. This is arousal hack number one, and if you're just joining us via YouTube, you stumbled onto this because I put a cool title in the thumbnail, you're welcome to stick with us and actually learn what I have to say, but I do recommend you actually start from the beginning, which you can find on my website, linked in the description below. Otherwise, if you're here with me, you've already done the first three rules, and now we can get into the nitty-gritty subtleties of how you can leverage the power of your nervous system and biological rhythms in order to help you wake up faster, more efficiently, with greater depth, and more happily. This is arousal hack number one. I call it the yesing, and it's perhaps the most powerful one of all of them. Okay, it's very simple. Whenever you first become consciously aware that is, maybe your alarm clock goes off and suddenly you know that, oh, I've been in dream world for the last few hours and now I've got material things to do. Or if you don't have the alarm set, you're going all natural, baby. Then right when your awareness clicks over to this material body again, what I want you to do is nod your head and say yes in your mind. Try that with me. It's, it's a little bit cheesy, but you're just nodding your head Yes, 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 yes. So often what happens is the first thought of our day tends to be a no or a complaint or a fuck. And we don't want that because that primes the system to be a complainer or a worst case pessimist throughout the entire day. Somehow you want to train your mind, even if it's challenging, even if it seems damn near impossible, to actually enjoy living. Imagine that, not saying, God, here we go again, I have to do this, I have to do that, but recognizing how precious our time is here. Okay, what I will do is I'll nod my head, yes, I'll try to get the first thought in my mind when I become aware of my conscious self to be yes, yes to life, yes to this day, yes to this moment. And then occasionally, when I go to the bathroom, because I typically have to pee right when I wake up, I flip on all the lights, I look in the mirror, and then I give myself nods. I'm staring deep into my own eyes, and I'm nodding my head like a lunatic. You know, doors closed, no one can see me, but I'm like, yes, fuck yes, let's go. And maybe I fist pump the air, maybe I start giving myself a little pep talk, like yes, 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 yes. Again, even if you're just making it all up, even if deep down you're like, fuck all of this, I want you to pretend Pretending is the initial thing that births the change that you want. You can't change without having changed thoughts initially. Okay, so it's just a yes. It's just nodding your head in the mirror. It's just keeping your eyes wide open, staring straight into your own soul and saying, you got this, let's go, or whatever. Whatever. I, uh, you know, I'm a 20-something-year-old male, so that's what I would tell myself. But you are the master of your own mind. So what are the things that get you somewhat excited for the day? Even just a smidge. That was actually it for the first hack. I encourage you to give this a go whenever you're feeling down. It's tremendous. You don't actually need the drugs in order to get you up. All you need is your own mind. And, of course, sincerity. You have to mean it. All right, go ahead and check out the next video where you will learn about the liver flush. Muy importante. I will see you there, my friend.